Talks. I'm your host, Roxanne Wilson, and it's time for Wedding Wednesday, a moment where you get to ask me, a wedding planner, any question that you might have about weddings, and I can share those tips with you. So I had a question that came in that I wanted to share with you, and it's a great question, and it's all about budget. Now, budgets are definitely not something that we like to talk about, but they're ooh so important when it comes to planning a wedding, because at the end of the day, you don't wanna be on your fifth wedding anniversary and still be paying off that wedding. This question comes from Courtney from Newport Beach. Dear Rocks Talks, I have a wedding coming up. We're so excited, but we need to cut $10,000 off the budget. What's the best way to do that? Uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, $10,000. I've had this happen before, actually with one of my brides, and the best, the best way, the best way, I can't say it any more quickly, to actually cut the budget is not cutting all the different details that you love. Don't cut the photographer, don't cut the floral, is to cut the guest list. I know that's like, oh, did I say it? But I did. Cutting the guest list will cut your budget quickly, swiftly, and significantly. I'm gonna say that quickly, swiftly, and significantly, and here's why. Every person you invite to your wedding is a certain dollar amount, right? You're not only paying for food, you're also paying for drinks, you're also paying for arrangements. Believe it or not, the floral budget is based on actually how many tables you have in centerpieces. If you cut a budget by 10, you're also cutting a floral arrangement. That's saving you money. It's also um, rentals, it, uh, linens, all of those things come under the realm of the guest count. So when you're looking at that guest count, I know it's easy for me to just say cut the guest count, and you're thinking, but I can't. I can't cut Shanene, my friend from five and a half years ago with that one time when I went to that one event and we've kept in touch kind of sort of on Facebook, but you see where I'm going with this? Take a moment on both sides and decide who really needs to be on that list. Also take a look at your family list. Perhaps your parents have added some people that you don't even know who they are. And if you have a discussion with your parents, they could let you know, hey, you really don't need to invite X, Y, or Z. By cutting the guest list, not only are you going to cut back on that budget so you're not paying off the wedding forever and a day, but you're also going to make it a more intimate affair so that the people that you really want there, the ones that if you closed your eyes and said, oh my goodness, I would not want to go down the aisle unless so-and-so and so-and-so were there, are actually there. It will cause a lot less strife and a lot more joy when you're staying within that budget. So you want to cut it by $10,000? Cut the guest count. Thanks for listening to Rocks Talks. I'd love for you to follow me on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts at Rocks Talks. And also leave a comment there too. I would so appreciate that. If you have any questions or if you'd like me to answer your question on Rocks Talks about weddings, wedding edition, wedding Wednesday, please go ahead and email me at Roxanne at RoxanneWilson.com and I cannot wait to answer your question on the next one. Take care.